We're going to do the second set of shoulder palpations. So to palpate the greater tubercle, the patient is seated. First, locate the acromion. Then slide off the acromion inferiorly and laterally, just one inch, to make sure that you're on the greater tubercle. Internally and externally rotate the arm, and you will feel it move under your thumb. Next is the coracoid process, which is part of the scapula. To palpate the coracoid process, lay your thumb along the lateral shaft of the clavicle, then slide inferiorly and locate the tip of the coracoid process by compressing your finger pads gently into the tissue. The bicipital groove is between the greater and lesser tubercles. So you locate the greater and lesser tubercles. And just in between, you will find the bicipital groove by rotating internally and externally rotating the arm. For the upper trapezius muscle, have the patient sit up and grasp the upper trapezius muscles between your thumb and index finger and you will feel the thickness of this muscle on the shoulder. For middle trapezius muscles, locate the spine of the scapula, which is here, and slide medially from the scapula onto the trapezius muscles and move your fingers across and you will feel the fibers of the middle chaps. For the lower trapezius muscles, start palpating from the vertebral column and come medial to the medial spine of the scapula and these are your lower chaps. For the sternocleidomastoid muscle, you will have the patient in the supine position and ask the patient to slightly raise their head off the table and you can feel the sternocleidomastoid muscle pop out and palpate it behind the ear and back down to the clavicle and the sternum.